How much money is there in the world? Uh, nothing from Wolf from Anthro on that score. Okay, a bit more specific then. How many Catholics are there in Mexico? Nothing. Okay. How much poverty is there in Botswana? Uh, let's see if it can... Wolfram can measure this. No, nope, sadly, no results for that. Okay. Well, let's try and think about this a different way then. Uh, percentage seems to be a word that works on here. So let's ask percentage of misinformation on Wikipedia which is one of the recognized sources of Wolfram Alpha. No response to that question. Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, let's see. Uh, what is the percentage of information on Wolfram Alpha that is non-Western? A uh, bit of time to compute that, but actually no answer either. Okay. Let's see, what is the percentage of science that is fact? Mm, doesn't seem to be an answer to that one. How about an answer to the riddle of subjectivity versus objectivity? Any answers to that particular troublesome question from Wolfram Alpha? No, nothing as of yet. Conductivity versus conductivity. Perhaps a much more important question that I should have been thinking about. Quantity versus quality. What does Wolfram Alpha have to say on that score? Nothing, unfortunately. Okay. Well, perhaps you've seen that uh, if you type in a particular figure to Wolfram Alpha, uh, for example, a currency figure, you will be given uh, particular responses that are useful to you in the real world. So money and finance section. Let's uh, see how Wolfram Alpha deals with uh, doing something on, say, 100 Linden dollars. Uh, being a bit slow on this one. No, nothing on Linden dollars in Wolfram Alpha. Okay, there's a spec section. Perhaps we should take a look at the other things that Wolfram Alpha does. We have here uh, a look at the uh, wider topics that Wolfram Alpha deals with. And we'll see there, there's a, what have we got here? Places in geography, words and linguistics, how about that? So we look up words. Words on Wolfram Alpha. One of my favorite words, uh, one of these school words, longest in the dictionary, anti-disestablishmentarianism. Let's see what Wolfram Alpha computes on this score. Uh, no, not sure what to do with that input. Okay, one of my favorite words, obsequy. No, no answers on that one either. Okay, well, unlucky for Wolfram Alpha. But uh, as you see, there's a sports and games section. So let's type in a fantastic sport that I'm very much interested in, the Japanese sport of kendo. Kendo uh, takes me to kende, kebi, Nigeria. Not quite the same thing, but definitely useful information to be disse disseminated through Wolfram Alpha there about Nigeria. So, it has a section on places, which I think I've seen. So, enter any town. I was driving past Glam's today in Scotland. Continue a Shakespeare theme. Uh, the Thane of Glam's, no, relates to Gadamis in Libya. So, Glam's obviously not big enough for Wolfram Alpha. Notice that there's a uh, enter any uh, any two first names so the example is Andrew well one of my best friends Rashid uh, is married to a girl called Takmine uh, no 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 data on those first names there Andrew and Paul fine no Rashid and Takmine how about Yasujiro as in Yasujiro Ozu and a uh, simple girl's name Virginie no no data comparing the prevalence of those names either well let's keep it simple then how about Luke and Leia. Any information on those? No. No information on Luke or Leia. Uh, perhaps Luke or Lee being offered. So, Wolfram Alpha also offers uh, important information on food. So, if you enter any food, you uh, will be given the dietary information. So, Wolfram Alpha, let's put in one Jaffa cake and say two pot noodles. Uh, what does this compute? No, no information there. 
Well, let's keep going. How about, uh, maybe that's not specific enough indeed. So if we put in chicken chow mein pot noodles, perhaps this will yield some results. No, nothing there from Wolfram Alpha. Okay, well, I'm uh, sort of short of uh, ideas now. I wonder, you know, let's think about um, if you can tell us the number of impossible numbers. Nothing there from Wolfram Alpha. Okay, uh, what else? Uh, Schrodinger's cat, yeah, good question. Is Schrodinger's cat dead or alive? Will it answer this long-standing conundrum to us? No, no answers there. Okay, uh, perhaps a little bit more metaphysical or physical. Heisenberg, Heisenberg, certainly uncertain. Was Heisenberg certainly uncertain? No answer. Okay, well, uh, beginning to feel a little bit let down by Wolfram Alpha here. Is Gödel's incompleteness theorem complete? Yeah, no answer. Okay, so I guess uh, this is where we give up with Wolfram Alpha for this particular round of questions, but perhaps uh, it'll be up and running, this ongoing project, in a short while. Oh, and we have an answer for give up. We have up. Uh, out of bed, it's the first first thing, and I think that's perhaps what the Wolfram Alpha organizers are going to have to do to improve the services that are on offer.